Hi everybody, I'm David Merrill and welcome to my inaugural video of my new channel, Captain Creativity. I'm here at CES 2024 in Las Vegas and it's a perfect place to launch this channel because we're going to be diving into the world of STEM and STEAM education products and solutions. I'm gonna cover things like 3D printers, robotics, coding, and much, much more. These videos are going to be structured and tailored towards students, teachers, administrators, tech enthusiasts, makerspace creators, and many more. So I'm really excited and I hope you could come join me on this journey while we explore this amazing world together. Let's get started. Okay, everybody, we're here with the Creality K1C. Uh, it's being unveiled here at CES 2024. Now, for many of you, you might say, well, wait a minute, isn't there already a K1? So what is the K1C? Well, the reality is, is the K1C is what is the new K1. So they had to put in the C just as a differentiator here, but really this is the one they want you to buy now. The K1 is gonna kind of get phased out a little bit and the K1C now has a few upgrades. So what are those upgrades gonna be? Well, we have over here a camera that's now on the inside. There is some rubber gasket along the uh, glass window over here to help secure that window a little bit better. There's also an improved extruder head. So I think they've actually listened to a lot of customers and they've gone ahead and they've improved the K1 with now the K1C. Now price point is gonna be roughly around what the original K1 was. So you're looking at something around the 500s, uh, low to mid 500 range. It hasn't been released yet, but it is coming to you soon. So if you're about to go ahead and buy a K1, I kind of would recommend hold off, don't buy it yet. Wait for the K1C because this is the new and improved version of it. Okay, so I was about to leave the booth and I was stepping by the K1 Max, which is uh, a favorite of mine. And yes, I do have it in my lab, but I came across this filament dryer over here, which looks really cool. And this filament dryer is called the Space Pie. Now, you know, as a filament dryer goes, it's pretty sleek looking. It's got a nice LCD screen. It's easy to open like this, and it's very easy to actually load up your filament. I've already tested it with some filament and it spins really nicely. So it really allows your filament to come out and not get caught on anything. So I'm actually quite impressed with the design. I think the part that has impressed me the most is the amount of filament profiles that it carries. Most of the time when I've seen filament dryers before, they usually carry about four settings on it. This one carries 12. Off the top of my head, it was like TPU, PTG, PLA, those all standard, ABS, right? And many, many, many others. And I, I can't remember them all because there were just so many, but I was actually quite surprised by the multitude of different dryer settings that were uh, on there. So it really kind of takes the guesswork when you're trying to dry out your filament. The price is still being worked on and the release date is gonna be sometime this year in 2024. So I don't have much about that, but it's another thing that I saw on the showroom floor here at CES, so look out for it. Thanks for watching.